Okay, stolen flag. This week, let's call MAGA what it really is. It's a gang of monarchists. I mean, there were plenty of people like Martha Ann Alito and Lindsey Graham in 1775. They were called Tories. Tom Paine wrote about them. Every Tory is a coward for servile, slavish, self-interested fear is the foundation of Toryism. And a man under such an influence, though he may be cruel, never can be brave. You might have heard about Sam and Martha Ann Alito flying this flag. When they found out about it, like the liberal media had a conniption fit. Oh my God, this flag is associated with right-wing extremism. Because I think they're upset about the wrong thing. This is one of the most radical left-wing flags in American history. It was flown by Yankee privateers, Washington's cruisers, who converted their mail sloops into fast, lightly armed schooners. And they operated out of hidden ports in New Bedford and Gloucester and Newburyport. And they did hit-and-run raids against British shipping. They cut General Howe's supply lines when he was closest to crushing the revolt. If you want to know who was on these ships, just look at the characters in Moby Dick. Yankee Quakers and Wampanoags and Pequots, immigrant Portuguese, Malays, Africans, Maltese, Chinese and P Polynesians. Some early version of Captain Ahab, Arr, he that shall spy a British brigantine shall have this gold doubloon. And the maritime trade in New England was the natural refuge of black freedmen, like this guy, Caesar Tarrant, a guy who escaped slavery to become a pilot on one of these Yankee battle sloops, where he takes out the rudder of a British frigate twice his size, and that saved the evacuation of Washington's troops from New York. Look, I don't want to romanticize the American Revolution. In the southern colonies, it was really just a fight to protect slavery. In fact, the Brits freed slaves if they would fight to put down the revolt. And that's a pretty inconvenient fact for the Hollywood version. But we shouldn't romanticize the Brits either. General Howe was not Abraham Lincoln. In New Jersey, New York, New England, he ran a vicious Vietnam-style counterinsurgency terror war. He used German mercenaries because he couldn't trust regular English troops to brutalize American civilians enough. Both sides turned native nations against each other and they used the Iroquois and the Mohawk and the Oneida as shock troops to terrify civilians. Loyalists and rebels burned down each other's towns and all of this gets airbrushed out of the high school history class version because it doesn't fit the Yankee Doodle narrative. But, but I still want to hold on to some part of this memory, some part of this origin story, something to identify with, some people to honor with gratitude, something worth fighting for. The ones who knew it was do or die, like I wish I could translate them into some modern analog, some movie scene that makes it recognizable. How dare these filthy royalists steal the memory of this flag? It flew against everything they stand for, against the cult of power, against the religion of the state against the oligarchy, against white supremacy, against the oppression of immigrants, against the supply lines of the empire. And the religious fanatics who love this flag now get off on the word heaven, like they can plagiarize its author, John Locke, and turn it into the Spanish Inquisition. 
dare these stormtroopers fly this flag next to their war banners of slavery? I want to hold on to what this flag originally means, like liberty, equality, fraternity. How dare these jumped-up Tories cosplay like they are the heirs of Tom Paine, like they are the heirs of Caesar Tarrant, who controls the present, controls the past, who controls the past, controls the future. Tyranny, like hell, is not easily conquered.